If you want to earn $200,000 a month on Turo, why not learn from the best, like this guy? He has the second largest fleet in the nation, and I scraped his data to figure out how he's making his money. Specifically, how much of that 200K a month is coming from which types of cars so we can replicate his success if we'd like to do so. I also show you how you can scrape this data for any public Turo host so you can get inspiration based on your local market. First thing you gotta do is find a Turo listing of the Turo host you wanna scrape their entire fleet from. You can see this guy's in Arizona, but you can do this for any local host you wanna scrape the fleet of. Just click on the icon so you can open up their profile page and then scroll down so you can see the entire list of cars in their fleet. Next, click View All Vehicles. Then right click somewhere on the page and hit the Inspect button. This is gonna open up developer tools so we can legally record the web traffic coming to our browser without violating Turo's terms of service. Now that we're recording, refresh the main page to get the fresh batch of data in and then just scroll down. This should take no more than a minute because most of these fleets have no more than 150 cars. Then click this little button here called Export HAR so we can download this raw data to our desktop. We then want to upload it into this HAR file web scraper. I'll put a link in the description. The page will look similar to this. Then look for this first group here. It should end with slash vehicles and click parse group. And now we've extracted 125 vehicles from his fleet. I think he has 150 according to the YouTube video, but maybe Turo cuts it off at 125. Anyway, click download CSV and we can download this data. I'm gonna throw this into Google Sheets, but you can use whatever tool you'd like, such as Excel. All right, so let's sort his fleet by the most popular cars. I'm gonna sort this trips taken column in descending order. So I can see the most popular car in his fleet are typically these Corvettes with over 160 or so trips taken in their lifetime. And we can scroll down to see the less popular cars and we see that we have fewer Corvettes down here. We typically have more midsize and there are a lot of Fiats in his fleet for some reason. I'm not sure what drove him to get a bunch of Fiats and we can see we have some Mercedes and even more Fiats. Here's a quick pie chart of the types of cars in his fleet. So this is just by number of cars. You can see it's mostly Chevrolets and a lot of Fiats for some reason. Then here we have some other things like Mercedes, Ford, Tesla, Buick, etc. But what about monthly revenue and income? That's what I care about. To do this, we need to pay special attention to this listing created time column because this trips taken column means how many trips were taken since the car was listed. So that way we can figure out average monthly throughput. So I'm gonna first create a new column so we can translate this to human readable date time. And then we use this epoch to date time function and Google Sheets and we'll now get a date time from this Unix timestamp that the Turo API gives us. Next, I wanna figure out how many days has the car been listed since the current day, assuming that's when we scrape the data. So here we can use the days function in Google Sheets, put in today, and then reference the other column so you get the number of days since the car was listed on Turo. Before we move on to revenue, I wanna take a look at occupancy and see of the number of days it was listed, how many of those days was it actually rented? So here we can only see the number of trips taken. A trip could span more than one day, I believe, based on this data. So right now we're assuming each trip is only exactly one day, which is probably not true. So these occupancy numbers are gonna be deflated, much unlike our current economy. But we can at least see the relative differences in occupancy. Like I would expect Ferraris to have a much lower occupancy rate than all those Fiats we noticed. Here I'm just creating a pivot table and I'm gonna show you the average occupancy rate based on each car's manufacturer. Here's it all summed up in a chart. So here we can see they range from about 10% to 20%. So of course the Bentleys and Ferraris are closer to the 10% and a lot of these other more reasonable cars are closer to 20% like the Dodges and Chevrolets. I'm surprised though, Fiat is pretty low. It's only 14% uh, roughly. So to me, that's a signal of low demand given it's not a very high priced vehicle. All right, let's figure out total revenue now. So we're gonna multiply the number of trips taken times the average daily price returned from the Turo API. We're gonna format this as dollars to make it easier to read. Next, we need to figure out the daily average revenue. So we're gonna take that total revenue and divide it by the number of days the car has been listed on Turo. It's gonna be an average daily revenue for that car. So we can see this now for each car. Each one's only making a couple dollars a day, but when we multiply by 30.4, the average number of days in a month, we'll get the average monthly revenue for each car. Again, take this with a grain of salt because we're assuming all trips only last one day when we know in reality, some trips will last more than one day. So the real number is probably higher than the numbers we have in the spreadsheet. Now I'm gonna make a pivot table so I can look at the average of averages based on each vehicle make, just to get an idea of what the average type of car is bringing in each month for this Turo host. So here I'm just selecting average and we can take a look at this in a chart. All right, no surprises here. The Ferrari, McLaren, and Rolls Royce are making several thousand dollars a month. I should sure hope so because of their super high price tag. Fiat makes the least amount of money per month on average, but remember he has a lot of them so he could make that up in volume. Now I want to look at the sum of the revenue on a monthly basis. I'm gonna change the pivot table to sum showing the revenue breakdown. One thing to notice the grand total here is 50K as opposed to the 200K advertised on the YouTube video. 
Maybe 200K was his best and most recent month. This again shows all time average monthly revenue. And again, we only assume that trips last one day. We can clearly see that his Chevrolets are driving almost a quarter of his revenue overall. Fiat's are his third highest revenue driver. Again, he probably makes up the low average daily price and volume. And Mercedes Benz is the second highest, offering some middle ground between those two groups. Here's a pie chart showing that Chevrolet and Mercedes are the main drivers as well as Fiat. We can also see Rolls Royce is up there too. It's doing much better than Ferrari, which is only 4%. But it seems like he has something for everybody. From the Fiat to the Rolls Royces, he's making money at every part of the spectrum. So I hope you found this useful and can use this to analyze your own Turo competitors. Check out the link in the description. The Harf File Scraper is actually free now for up to 10 rows daily, so you can analyze any competitor's fleet that's under 10 cars. Have fun and happy scraping.